Trinity.edu. We ask do not use flash photography, and throughout the match, be sure to visit the Chartwell's concession stand. In a moment, player introductions of the Cowgirls and the Tigers. Sabrina Nelson. The starting lineup for the Cowgirls. Number one, a freshman middle blocker, Jaden Hernandez. Number two, a junior setter, Ali Meyer. Number eight, a freshman outside hitter, Rachel North. Number ten, a sophomore libero, Ari Villanueva. Number eleven, a sophomore outside hitter, Liz Underwood. Number thirteen, a sophomore middle blocker, Gabby Jones. Number 19, a junior outside hitter, Lauren Sullivan. The assistant coach is Kyra Bailey, head coach of the Cowboys, Kimber Chris. The heart of the Cowboys. Now for the Trinity Tigers. Somos Los Tigres. Number one, a sophomore center, Josie Dayer. Number two, a sophomore libero, Cassidy McClain. Number three, a sophomore libero, Jenna Rodriguez. Number eight, a freshman outside hitter, Lauren McCarthy. Number 10, a senior middle blocker, Carly Brookhausen. Number 15, a freshman outside hitter, Connelly McWilliams. Number 19, a junior right side player, Catherine Detweiler. Number 20, a sophomore libero, Kylie King. Number 21, a sophomore right side hitter, Marissa Dream. Number 24, freshman center, Kendall Derivelle. The starting lineup for the Tigers. Number four, a senior middle blocker, Maddie Fates. Number five, a fifth year libero, Nadia Kern. Number six, a fifth year center, Marissa Amarino. Number seven, a sophomore outside hitter, Reagan Watley. Number 12, a freshman middle blocker, Courtney Polk. Number 14, a fifth-year middle blocker, Brett Thornton. And number 17, a senior outside hitter, Mackenzie Logan. The assistant coaches are Matthew Hinkley and Brian Cook. Head coach of the Tigers, Julie Hinkley. For the Tigers, Art Simmons Cowgirls officials, you have the match. It's match two of a doubleheader for the Tigers as they take on the Cowgirls of Hardin Simmons University. It's another SCAC versus ASC clash. Hardin Simmons coming off a loss against S fellow SCAC school Texas Lutheran. They took the third set into extra points but ultimately fell 32 to 30 in a sweep for Texas Lutheran looking to bounce back against the Tigers on the Tigers home court. And another interesting matchup to be sure. For the Tiger Network, I am Reed Rosales, joined by Jade Schoenberger. And the Tigers 16 and three, they have been on a tear right now, 12 wins in a row. And Jade, last time out, their offense was absolutely electric. Absolutely, yeah, a great start and a great streak for the Tigers. We're coming into this match. We saw several players in the prior match earlier today. Looking at that one, you had Courtney Pope with eight kills, Mackenzie Logan with seven, and McCarthy with seven as well. And while those numbers might seem a little bit lower than per usual, it's because we had Tigers 
across the board getting playing time in the last match. He saw DeRivel with 17 assists. And then in regards to blocks, Carly Brookhuizen with four. Also saw Courtney Pope in the middle in the third set of the last match. We've seen her on the right side thus far this season, and it appears she'll be back on the right side to kick off this first set. But amazing to see that versatility from such a strong player thus far. It's going to be Marissa Amarino to kick off the first set. And that serve is going to be long. So the first point will go to the Cowgirls. Tigers looking for a side out. Back to serve for Harden Simmons, Lauren Sullivan. First serve for the Cowgirls tonight. That is a high serve receive from Mackenzie Logan. Watley with the down ball. Setting the middle, that one gets denied. And attack from the back. Easy dig for Mackenzie Logan. And Watley tools it off the block. Tigers tie it up one to one as Watley will head back to serve for Trinity. Yeah, great shot for Watley with that nice aggressive cross court. We saw her warming up that shot in warm up, really trying to hit kind of that T zone where the 10 foot line hits that sideline. And she was successful in warm up, so glad to see her thumb down, taking that shot. Last point there is gonna go to the Cowgirls. It's gonna send Gabby Jones back to serve. A sophomore from Waco, Texas, serves that one up right to Nadia Kern. Ursa Marino goes to Pope, who puts it down. So trading points very early on in this first set. Nadia Kern heads back to serve the next one. And one of the things we saw in that match against Concordia was a lot of serves barely being called out. Good serve from Kern. It'll be an attack from Harden Simmons that's easily picked up. Pope with the cross court shot gets dug. Bump set. And that'll be a great dig for Watley. Mackenzie Logan hits it down that seam. 3 2. Tigers take the lead. And Kern will go back for seconds on the service line. Current serve handled well. The attack from the Cowgirls gets blocked. Maddie Fate puts that one back over on one. Smart move as that'll make the Tigers lead four to two. Nadia Kern still serving. Harden Simmons coming into this eight and seven. Tigers 16 and three. And that one barely, barely out. So 4-3, Harden Simmons will get the ball back. Double substitution for the Cowgirls, number 24 and number six. That's Keaton Rogers and Sabrina Nelson. Yeah, that last serve from Naughty Kern being just out the back. We saw the Tigers staying really aggressive, trying to paint that last foot of the court with their serving in the last match. That being said, as mentioned, Pretty high error, something we don't often see from the Tigers. So we'll see if they dial it back a little bit here in this match. Maybe to stay a little bit more consistent behind that service line. Mackenzie Logan, great cross shot. She'll score and get that quick side out, leading to the Tigers' double substitution in this 6-2 rotation. It's going to be Josie Dare and Connelly McWilliams subbing back in. Tigers back to their more usual starting lineup. As mentioned in the last ma match, we saw several players getting playing time, some individuals even switching positions from where we normally see them. But looks like we are kicking this first set off here, second match of the day. Back to our usual. Off speed is picked up by Nadia Kern. Josie Dare out of the net will save things, putting up a great option for Maddie Faye, and she'll put that one down. Yeah, that one. Shoe shining one of the Cowgirls players, Lauren Sullivan to be specific, sends Dayer back to serve again. Tigers with the early lead here in set one. The next serve from Dayer, pass close to the net, good on the Cowgirls to keep it on their side. Bump set, McWilliams tips it over. Cowgirls there to cover. They try to tip, but Mackenzie Logan covers that one. 
McWilliams with the cross court shot overhand receive. Big swing and a good dig by Nadia Kern. Mackenzie Logan slams that one down. Seven to three. Mackenzie Logan with authority extending the Tigers lead. A great showing by Logan there. You saw her in the midst of that play with the great run through on this tip to keep the ball in play and then just putting that one right to the floor with some heat. We'll see how she contributes throughout the remainder of this match. It's going to be Josie Dare with another service attempt, putting over a ball with very little spin. The slide, Mackenzie Logan will be there, but Tigers unable to get that second touch back in play. A cowgirl point, and that's going to be Briley Pursley back there serving. Riley Pursley, local to the area from Abilene, Texas, where Harden Simmons is also located. Bump set over to Mackenzie Logan. The tip this time is covered. Next swing, one touch off the block. Kern gets that one over and avoids the net. Set, and another tip attempt doesn't fall. McWilliams off the block, that ball goes into a bad location. So Tigers get point number eight. They, they are leading it by four. Jenna Rodriguez heads back to serve for the Tigers now. Yeah, and something to be noted, I don't want to jinx it, but the Tigers prior or earlier in the season were struggling a little bit picking up tips from that outside swing. We were catching the setter and the Pulling off outside, unsure of who is going to be taking charge on that ball, but the Tigers have done an excellent job in this match, keeping those balls in play. So exciting to see that shift in their defense over the course of the season thus far. Tigers are still currently up here by three to kick off this first set here. Nice pass by Watley. McWilliams on the right side off the block is Doug. We're gonna see an outside swing, or excuse me, a middle swing. Libero to the middle, and that one's going to be out the back, so point for the Tigers, and it's going to be Maddie Fate with a service opportunity. Tigers keeping a good lead on the Cowgirls. Fate serve heads right to Sullivan, who receives it. And Fate with the dig. It's going to be a free ball for the Cowgirls. Set to the middle. Does not get down. Tigers push it over to the Cowgirl side. Swing from Sullivan is blocked. Brett Thornton and Connolly McWilliams there to stop that attack. Great defense by the Tigers. Josie Dare laying out, keeping a ball in play throughout that rally. And great press by the Tigers again at the net. Maddie Faye with a deep serve and it's just barely long. It'll be a point for the Cowgirls, and that'll be Naughty Kern stepping back on the court. Double substitution for the Cowgirls, number two and number eight. Ali Meyer and Rachel Nort. Ali Meyer will head back to serve. Junior out of Cedar Park, Texas. Serving this one up. Handled by Rodriguez and set to Thornton, who crushes it from the middle position, 11 to six. Always awesome to see the range that this Tiger squad has with their middles. Josie Dare almost nearly at the 10 foot mark, but still with the confidence to run her middle really quick, leading to that point for Miss Brett Thornton. It's gonna be Marissa Amarino back to serve for the Tigers with that double substitution. Courtney Pope is going to be back in on the right side. Out of the middle, Brett Thornton right there and ready. Strong press and she will get a block for this Tiger squad and Marissa Amarino back to ser serve, excuse me, with another attempt. And these are two teams that really excel in the blocking category. Both of them top 10 nationally in blocks per set. So expect some good defense by the net. That attack though sails a bit long. So Tigers getting a very, very nice lead, 13 to six. Yep, good communication there between Jenna Rodriguez and Nadia Kern, both calling that ball out, and then Jenna Rodriguez following it all the way to the line. You saw her with that sh subtle stomp with her left foot on the line to ensure that that ball was going to be out. A great, great start for the Tigers. Teams hitting above 500, 
not much better you could see from a team to kick off a match. Unfortunately, Cowgirls in the negative. So a tough, tough time for them, a tough start. We'll see if they can shake things up out of this timeout. Tigers, again, currently leading 13 to 6. So they have some wiggle room here, but hopefully they're able to maintain that high percentage. And the timeout called by the new head coach for Harden Simmons, Kendall Crisp. First year as a head coach, he had been an assistant for a couple years prior at Harden Simmons. Also was involved with the Texas Tech volleyball team. So she has experience. She played over in Sweden professionally for a year. And now back in Texas, coach trying to get Harden Simmons, who's been rebuilding their program, to try and shoot for that ASC Conference Championship. That is wide open this year as perennial powerhouse of the ASC, UT Dallas. Seems very vulnerable right now. Marissa Amarino will serve us out of the timeout. And the serve, that's gonna be close to the net. And point for Arden Simmons, I believe they call that a reach over. Yeah, I mean, from our perspective, it looked like Watley went straight up, and thus that would have been a Tiger point. But Upref is going to say that Watley was over and thus was interfering with the set attempt there. Watley coming right back with a great pass. Thorin out of the middle, and that'll be a quick point for the Tigers. So in my mind, ball never lies. Should have been a Tiger point, and Watley will go back to serve. It's going to be Mackenzie Logan subbing back in after Jenna Rodriguez had played back row for her. A nice float from Watley. Results in an outside swing. The press is there, but unable to get a second touch off the block. It will be a cowgirl point. Trinity still up 14-8. to eight. Back to serve for Harden Simmons. Number 13, Gabby Jones. Her serve is long. Not sure what it is with the long serves today, but I suppose there's just something in the air about yeah, today. Yeah, something about a Wednesday evening has resulted in quite a few missed serves this evening. Nadia Kern back there. We'll see what she can do. And that will be an ace nonetheless. Cowgirls almost there with that second touch out of the net. But Nadia Kern with some heat behind the service line. So 16 to 8. Tigers doubling up the Cowgirls right now. And it's not going to get any easier with Nadia Kern behind that service line. And the attack push it over. But Wiley's there to cover the corner. Big swing from Mackenzie Logan, but a good dig. And the Tigers stop that one. Maddie Fate and Courtney Pope taking away all options. Good block right there. Yeah, great lineup. That one looking like it was all Miss Pope there. Putting that ball straight back to the floor. Nadia Kern with another service attempt, but that one with some heat is going to go out the back. 17 to 9, double substitution for the Cowgirls as Keaton Rogers and Sabrina Nelson re-enter the game. Rogers back to serve. And that one into the net. Maybe did not hit that one too well off the hand. Tigers are leading 18 to 9. They're, they are in a commanding lead right now. Josie Dayer and Connolly McWilliams back on the court. They are back to serve. The serve from Dayer is not handled too well, so free ball for the Tigers. And a setting the middle, Fate crushes it but gets dug. Attack from the three meter line, or behind the three meter line actually, will end up as a kill and a point for Harden Simmons. As Briley Pursley re-enters the game for the Cowgirls. 
She'll be back to serve. Trinity still leading by eight in the first set. Serve for Persley. That one is out. What a night. I don't think we've seen so many missed serves in an evening of Trinity volleyball, nonetheless. So 19 to 10 now. Jenna Rodriguez with the serve here. And setting the middle. Another rejection, this time Fate and Watley coming together to get the Tigers 20 points now. 20 to 10. It is all Trinity in this first set. Next serve from Rodriguez. Another good one. Swing from Sullivan, a blast through the block. So 20 to 11 now, as that was a very nice aggressive swing from Sullivan. Yep, good connection there on the Cowgirl side. Maddie Fate just a little bit late out to that block, getting a hand on it, but not able to get that right hand to press quite as much to keep it onto the Cowgirl side. Nice deep and high serve will catch Naughty Occurrence. That'll be an ace for the Cowgirls. Yeah, and some libero on libero violence there. That <laughs> was Naughty Kern does not often miss a serve receive. This time that one goes to Watley. And Maddie Fate, big swing, almost took out one of the bench players for Harden Simmons. 20 to 13 now. As that is the first attacking error for the Tigers this game. Next serve from Villanueva is in the net. So another service error. 21 to 13, Tigers in the lead as Ari Villanueva's serve it cannot get over the net. Maddie Fate to serve it for Trinity. Gets it in. And the back set handled by the Tigers. Connelly McWilliams. That one is hit off of a cowgirl. So point for Trinity, 22-13. They are up by nine. Great set there by Jenna Rodriguez. Noticing that Nadia Kern not on the court. She took that second ball after Josie Dare had the initial dig. And man, was it a pretty set, resulting in the point for the Tigers. And then you have an ace for the Tigers. So we are two away from taking this first set. Great job by Maddie Fate, great placement. Staying aggressive behind that service line with her so standing float, excuse me. And she looks to be targeting that cross court serve. There you see it again. Outside swing for the Cowgirls, dug by Fate. Jenna Rodriguez with another great set. But to Watley, she gets dug. Another outside swing, cross court to Fate. And that one will score for the Cowgirls. Trinity still up by nine. Nadia Kern rechecks into this one, along with on the Cowgirls side, Ali Meyer and Rachel Nord. Meyer will be back to serve. 23-14. The Cowgirls need a bit of magic to come back on this one, and a long serving error is definitely not going to help. That gives the Tigers game point with Marissa Amarino and Courtney Pope re-entering the match. Amarino, another tough server for the Tigers, will be behind the service line. And right now, it has been a lot of rough times behind the service line. Amarino gets that one in, and the set to the middle. Good set. Tigers give the Cowgirls a free ball. Villanueva, bump set, swing, and that one will go down. So a nice swing by Rachel Nord will get a kill for the Cowgirls as the Tigers cannot cover the initial dig. That'll send him back Lauren Sullivan to serve for Harden Simmons. The serve received close to the net. The tip over, sent back on the overpass. Amarino over to Watley, dug by Villanueva. Attack from behind the three meter line. Gets dug by the Tigers, swing from Pope. An overpass there. Amarino to Watley again, who caps off the first set with a kill for herself, 25-15. Tigers win the first set in dominant fashion as they are 
off to the races once again on offense. Yeah, good, good job on the Cowgirls keeping the ball in play throughout that last rally. But, man, the Tigers looked so clean. You could see the communication on the court with those balls that were kind of ricocheting going back onto the Tigers' side. Heard Nadia loud and clear calling for the first touch. Saw Amarino really set up a great offense in that last set to Watley. A great choice. Nice, fast pace out there. She had a great opportunity with that one-on-one, -on -one, more or less. And, man, a 400 hitting percentage coming out of set one is a great, great start for the Tigers. Those six errors for the Cowgirls definitely not helping them, as well as we saw, as mentioned, a tremendous amount of serving errors on both sides, more or less. But definitely did not help the momentum for the Cowgirls. We'll see if they can clean it up here going into the second. And another stat to point out, the Tigers with four blocks in that first set, they are really putting a stop to that Cowgirls offense. It has been rough goings, but the Tigers have been really on fire. They got a reverse sweep against their rivals up in Colorado with Colorado College. And Coach Jenkins telling me that she will, there'll be a match that she will remember. The last reverse sweeps that she remembers were against Southwestern back in 2013, where they reversed swept Southwestern for the SCAC championship and then reverse swept them in the same year in the NCAA tournament in the semifinal regional round. So Coach Jenkins has seen a lot of volleyball. So when she says this is one to remember, you really know it was a great game. And she said a big part was the serve receiving for the Tigers has been improving week by week by week, where when we saw them play a team like Oshkosh, it was really, really difficult to handle some of the serves there. So it's always nice to see improvements for yeah, the Tigers. Yeah, absolutely. We mentioned the communication a few times here throughout the day. They're definitely taking charge in regards to serve receive. They are much more confident, and I'm speaking specifically in regards to the outsides that are out there. We've, send, we've seen excuse me, Jenna Rodriguez and Nadia Curran obviously have great success, both of them alternating in that libero jersey thus far. But as mentioned, our outsides were getting targeted a little bit and will probably get targeted throughout the remainder of this season when it comes to serve receive. So great to see them really stepping up and contributing in regards to serve receive and thus ultimately leading to a stronger offense opportunities for the Tigers. One of those people in the offense for the Tigers. If you didn't catch our earlier match, Brett Thornton, Names Offensive SCAC Player of the Week this past week, and she also was named September Strength and Conditioning Female Athlete of the Month, essentially, an accolade that's given by the Strength and Conditioning Coach Daniel Martinez. So really awesome showing by her thus far today. And we hope to see these Tigers continue to kill it in regards to offense. That 400 hitting percentage, we'll see if we can hover around that further as this match moves forward. It's going to be the Cowgirls the first to step onto the court for this second set. As per usual, Tigers using all the time they got to chat up some strategy, instill confidence in one another. And it looks like we will see a few new faces on the Tiger side. Starting off this second set. So the new faces are going to be Carly Brookhuisen will be in the middle. It's going to be McCarthy, Lauren McCarthy on the outside with Mackenzie Logan. And then you'll see the same matchup. Courtney Pope will be in with Marissa Amarino. And only time will tell in regards to who will sub in for the 6-2 rotation on that Tiger side. It's going to be Jenna Rodriguez in the libero jersey, so another change there. Cowgirls keeping things the same on their side. Starting lineup for set one does not change for set two. And to start things off, Martin Simmons will serve us in to this one. And the serve from Ali Meyer. Good receive by Mackenzie Logan. Big swing. It's going to be a free ball for the Tigers. Amarino going to Courtney Pope. Crushes that one. So Tigers get the first point of the second set. Great start there for the Tigers and something to mention, the depth of this roster definitely helps them. I can imagine it being really frustrating going into that transition, set one to set two. You kind of discuss what occurred in the first set, 
try and establish a strategy, and then you go into the second, and the Tigers have thrown up an entirely different lineup than the first. So hopefully that works in their favor in this second set, these new faces. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls here, leading to their substitution. Riley Persley will go back to serve for the Cowgirls as that last attack was in the net, but it was hit so hard that it actually went over the net. <laughs> Good receive by Rodriguez. Bump set. Rodriguez will give the Cowgirls a down ball. And that one will get down. Liz Underwood, sophomore out of Clyde, Texas, will get the kill for Harden Simmons. They take a 2-1 lead. Back to serve once again is Briley Persley. That one handled well. Mackenzie Logan, big swing. Just barely out. So point for Harden Simmons. They go up by two. But once again, the initial serve being received by one of the outsides that's handled very well. That one goes to the libero. Back set, Thornton on the slide. Can't get that one down. Big swing from Mackenzie Logan. Another dig for the Cowgirls. That one gets rejected though. Brett Thornton and Courtney Pope shut down that attack. So block number five for the Tigers as they are on point at the net. And Jenna Rodriguez serves this one up for the Tigers. And that's going to be an ace. Persley cannot get the platform in the right position. So Tigers tie this one up, 3-3. Three to three. Rodriguez back to serve once again. She led the team in service aces last year. Trying to go back to back. Big swing. And a tool off the block will be a kill for Rachel Nord. Freshman out of full sheer Texas. Adding another kill to her stat sheet. Sending back Gabby Jones to serve for Harden Simmons. HSU up four to three. Swing from Mackenzie Logan. Gets in, so four, four. As a double substitution for the Tigers. Some more new faces, Katherine Detweiler and back to serve. The first year, Kendall DeRivel get 12 service aces last weekend. Good serve there. And causing some cowgirls to take some bad paths. Big swing from Mackenzie Logan. She gets dug though. And that's a really big swing from Liz Underwood who puts that one down in a hurry. So Harden Simmons keeping up with the Tigers, leading them five to four here early on in the second set, sending back Keaton Rogers to serve. Rogers gets the go ahead. That one received well, setting the middle. Good dig by the Cowgirls though. The tip attempt, and once again, Liz Underwood will have another kill for herself. Four to six, Arden Simmons has a two point lead now. And another serve coming up. Rogers, Tigers handle it well again. And Mackenzie Logan returns the favor with the tip of her own. So the Tigers only down by one. Setting in Cassidy McLean who will head back to serve for Trinity. Yeah, great reach there by Logan, just keeping that ball in play, kind of punching it over nonetheless with the tight, tight ball. And that's one of those situations, you just got to keep the ball in play, force the other team to make a play, and unfortunately they couldn't. Nice, strong, aggressive slide is out, but that's going to be McCarthy getting called in the net. So a cowgirl point, cowgirls currently leading by two. Back to serve for HSU is Liz Underwood. Her serve is off. Derivel back set and almost hitting our up judge there. But it'll be a kill for the Tigers. 
So six to seven, that sends it back. Carly Brookhuisen to serve it. Brookhuisen serve. And Arn Simmons pushes it over and that one barely doesn't get over. So point for Harden Simmons as Tigers cannot handle the heads up ball. Great hustle there by McCarthy, keeping that first initial touch up. That is one of the plays I had mentioned, that tip right over the block. Really tricky in regards to who's going to pick that one up, the outside or the setter in the back row. And that one, unfortunately, did score for the Cowgirls off the block. Another point for the Cowgirls. They will extend their lead. Tigers still looking confident out there on the court, but they're going to want to side out and to string together some points here in this second set. Serve from Villanueva, handled by McLean. Swing from McCarthy. It'll be a back row attack. Drivel sets McCarthy again. They'll say Ryan Simmons got a hand on it. Swing from Sullivan, a duel off the block. And a much better start for the Cowgirls. They have a four point lead. They're the first to break double digits here in the second set, thanks to that nice swing. Sending back, once again, Ari Villanueva to serve it for the Cowgirls. Tigers looking for a strong pass here, hoping to get Brett Thornton possibly in the mix. And there she is for the side out. Brett Thornton, a great connection there with DeRivel. It's going to lead to their double substitution on the Tigers' side. Marissa Amarino and Courtney Pope back in. We'll see if they can string together some more points in their three rotations. Amarino getting ready to serve this one, the fifth year. Serves this one long. So 7 to 11 now. Now both teams with five service errors each. It's been a rough night for pretty much every team behind the service line. Don't know what it is about Wednesday volleyball in Calgary Gym. Next serve from Harden Simmons. Amarino going to Pope. Able to dig it are the Cowgirls. Sullivan gets dug by Rodriguez and Brett Thornton cross court shot goes out so seven to twelve Harden Simmons having a five point lead now they are picking up mega momentum that one gets down McCarthy cutting off the cowgirls so eight to twelve now as McCarthy will head back to serve we'll see if that swing can be the momentum that the Tigers need McCarthy serve, just barely, barely, barely out. Eight to 13 now. Harden Simmons gets the ball back. Yeah, but we mentioned before this match, a lot of missed serves in the prior match. Hoping to see the Tigers dial it back a little bit, maybe take some heat off for the sake of consistency and keeping the ball in. Tip down the line by Mackenzie Logan is Doug. Right side opportunity. Out the back, it's going to be a Tiger point. So hopefully this is the string of points that we need for the sake of the Tigers getting back in this second set. It's going to send Jenna Rodriguez back to serve someone who has normally been rather consistent behind the service line. So we'll see if she can string some together down the line. She was picked up. Tip. Tigers unable to get it back onto the Cowgirl side. Again, that tip from the outside. Maybe I jinxed it when I mentioned it earlier, but a really tricky shot for the Tigers to pick up. Gabby Jones goes back to serve, and the Cowgirls have been putting some really nice serves. Until then, we'll have another service error. So uh, 10 to 14. But we will have Kendall DeRivel and Katherine Detweiler re-enter the game for the Tigers. DeRivel back to serve at 12 service errors total for both sides. 
Good serve there, causing the libero to fall. The Rimmel going over to Mackenzie Logan, who crushes it. So 11 to 14 now. Good aggressive swing there. The next serve from Derivel. It'll be a bump set. And that one weakly hit over. So a point for Harden Simmons and seems like the Tiger defense, there's just a lot of balls going into places where there's a bit too many cooks in the kitchen, I think is the apt saying here. <laughs> yeah, Tiger's struggling a little bit with their seams. You saw Coach Jenkins mention to Derivel after that last ball to be confident and taking the charge in regards to her seam. A kicked ball up, but unable to get over for the Cowgirls. 12 to 15. Got to imagine that's every player's dream to <laughs> save the ball with a kick. But very hard to do. Your shoe is not the best platform. Serve from McLean. It's a very good one. Down ball, one hit off the block, which sends the ball in a friendly path for the Cowgirls. They're up 16 to 12. That sends back Liz Underwood to serve. As the Cowgirls have not relented on their lead just yet. And another long serve. I feel like we've had more miss serves than serves even in the court. Maybe it's just you notice the negatives maybe more so than the positives in certain circumstances, but tonight has really been interesting regarding <laughs> serves. Carly Brooke has been getting one in. Back quick. Trinity Block unable to keep that on the Cowgirl side. Needing a little bit stronger of a press there. So the Cowgirls will get another opportunity behind that service line. Currently leading by four. Tigers needing a side out here and then a push of a short string. McCarthy with the first touch. Jenna Rodriguez taking that second ball in an off-speed shot. Will result in right side for the Cowgirls getting an aggressive swing off. Tool leading to the point, and Julie Jenkins will use a timeout. Yeah, smart move by the Tigers. Cowgirls up by five. Definitely not the position you want to be in, and that could have an unlucky tool heading out of bounds, but Cowgirls really picking it up on the offensive side of the ball, actually leading the Tigers in kills now. Yeah, definitely, and the Tiger hitting percentage has not fallen that by that much, but you are seeing the Cowgirls keeping a lot more balls in play this set. Their digs being higher than the Tigers, they're keeping more balls in play, frustrating the Tiger offense perhaps after the first set where they were easily able to put the ball to the floor. We're not seeing that in this second set. We are seeing some new faces in regards to the Tiger offense, so not necessarily the starting lineup out there in this second set, but hopefully after this timeout, Tigers are able to get a side out and string together some points to come out on top here in this second. Tigers doing their usual cheer and heading back onto the court. As mentioned, the last time we came out of a little bit of a lull, we were able to effectively run the middle to cut the string of points that the Cowgirls got earlier. So maybe we'll see a nice solid pass here and get Brett Thorin an offensive attempt. Cassie McLean throwing over a free wall. We'll see how the Cowgirls use it. Right side swing down the line is dug by Jenna Rodriguez, pushing this ball out to McCarthy off the block. The Tigers will score. So an effective time out for the Tigers. We'll see if they can string a few more together. Their 6-2 rotation, Marissa Amarino and Courtney Pope subbing back in. Marissa Amarino will go back to serve. She has had two missed serves thus far in the match, so we will see if she can get this one in. Cowgirls leading it by four. The serve from Amarino. Handled well by the Cowgirls. Swing from Sullivan and... Yeah, Jenna Rodriguez may have accidentally hit McLean there, but a good place to hit it for Sullivan, trying to get it in between two players. So Cowgirls up by five. 
Sending back Ali Meyer to serve. Yep, Tiger stacked on the left-hand side. We'll see if we see a slide. Good eye by Cassidy McLean. Another miss served. 15-19. McCarthy to serve for Trinity. They need to string a lot of points together. But they definitely have the offense for it. Close set to the net. But Cowgirls able to get it over. And that one gets stopped. Mackenzie Logan just barely out. That back line has not been friendly tonight for Trinity. 15 to 20. Harden Simmons hits the 20 point barrier first. Riley Persley back to serve for Harden Simmons. Yeah, some good coverage there in that last rally by Brett Thornton. The Tigers again unable to keep that ball in play. We're going to see a back quick from Brett Thornton and she'll score. play who's been pretty successful thus far. We'll see if we can get our middles more action throughout this set. Tigers still down by four. Cowgirls at the 20 digit mark. So the Tigers will need to put some pressure on now. Cowgirls go back to attack. And the dig from Rodriguez. Swing from Mackenzie Logan gets dug. Cowgirls playing some great defense tonight. And that one's going to be an overpass. Set up the middle. Good dig by Amarino. Bump set for Courtney Pope. She gets dug. Middle again. And that'll be a kill for Gabby Jones. Arn Simmons up by five. As the Tigers fall a bit further behind. Yeah, great defense on both sides. Jenna Rodriguez getting several touches. Cowgirls, pretty much everyone had a touch in regards to defensive plays out there. So that rally being excellent on both sides and just happened to fall in the Cowgirls' hands. But that being said, Cowgirls are in the 20-digit mark, currently up 21-16. to 16. So Coach Jenkins will use her second timeout to give the Tigers an opportunity to crawl back into this second set. Coming back from this deficit is definitely something the Tigers are capable of. So we'll see if this timeout called by head coach, again, Julie Jenkins, will work in their favor. And for the Cowgirls, one thing that they've been doing very well in this set is serving the Tigers short, which has been very tough for the Tigers because it seems like they're constantly diving to receive the ball when they do that. That up front on the court being a very difficult spot to get to with their current serve-receive formation. We'll see if any adjustments are made to that in particular. But Gabby Jones will be back to serve it and get us out of this timeout. Jones has the go-ahead. And that's going to be an overpass. Another great serve from the Cowgirls. Dueled off the block. So Harden Simmons comes out of that timeout still on fire. 16 to 22. Tigers down by six. Jones trying to force another overpass. That one handled better. They go to Mackenzie Logan. A big cross court shot gets dug. And that one, one touch off the block up front. Amarino. Back set to Pope who tips it and that will, will get down. 17-22, Tigers still trail, but a good kill by Pope. Great play there by Marissa Amarino. Really in the motion of running forward, was able to reverse that ball, get a ball up for Courtney Pope and a great change of pace amongst the hustle with that tip. Derivel here, down the line. She's passed up, a right side swing, dug by Derivel, set by Detweiler and a block will result in a cowgirl point. Cowgirls now two away from taking this second set. Coach Jenkins is going to make a defensive change. Nadia Curran subbing in for McCarthy. Back to serve for the cowgirls, Keaton Rogers. As that was 
the Cowgirls' first block of the night, and it could not be in a bigger spot, denying Mackenzie Logan a kill. Set the middle, and a big swing from Carly Bruckheisen. Tigers 18, Harden Simmons 23. The Tigers can definitely make up the deficit that they're in. Harden Simmons cannot give them a chance. Serve from Mackenzie Logan, handled well. And that one will be an overpass. Setting the middle, and Nadia Kern inadvertently hits that one back. So game point for the Cowgirls, 18 to 24. As they are looking to force this game to be four sets. Liz Underwood will go back to serve. Looks like we are wiping up some sweat on the floor. Now we can get back into play now that mopping the floor is done. Underwood gets the go ahead. Game point for Harden Simmons. Derivo going across the, score, the court. Big swing from Nadia Kern. It gets dug, however. Kern there to cover that one. And once again, Carly Brookheisen puts another kill down for the Tigers. And Brookheisen will head back to serve. Tigers need to be perfect. But on a night where serving seems to be a trouble spot, maybe a bit of a taller task. A good serve there, however. Down ball sent over to the Tigers' side of the court. Nadia Kern with the swing, and Nadia Kern with the kill. She did rack up some kills over in California when she played as an outside hitter up there. So Coach Schenken's comfortable that Nadia Kern can go out there and also produce offensively while also being a great defensive boost. And an ace. So 21-24. Timeout called by Harden Simmons as they want to cut off this momentum before it can build into something more. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're one point away from taking this set, but they are feeling the pressure. Carly Brookhausen doing a great job behind the service line of keeping that ball in and forcing the Cowgirls to make a play of things. You saw with that last point, Tigers did choose to make a substitution, or excuse me, a sub. In regards to the libero, we got Jenna Rodriguez in for Mackenzie Logan, so that libero can sub in and out for pretty much anyone <laughs> of the uh, head coaching staff's choosing. Um, and with our outside struggling a little bit on defense, we've seen a few overpasses from them thus far. Coach Jenkins did make the choice to throw Jenna Rodriguez in there again for Mackenzie Logan in the midst of Carly Brookhisen serving. So we will see if this time out works in the Cowgirls' favor. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of a pause to throw a server off of their game. But if Carly Brookhisen can keep the ball in, momentum's definitely on the Tigers' side. We'll see what Brookhisen has in store for the Cowgirls. 3-0 run for the Tigers right now. Scoring six in a row is very, very difficult. But the Tigers will have to will their way to that mark. Another good serve. The attack by Harden Simmons. Denied once. It'll be an attack from the back row. Pushed down. The Tigers keep it alive. That one pushed over. Hits off of Harden Simmons. Nadia Kern once again with another kill. So 22-24. Nadia Kern played as an outside in high school. But she'd been playing Libero here at Trinity. Yeah, majority of her Trinity career seen in that defensive specialist position. An ace from Carly Brookhisen will push this really to a pressure situation for the Cowgirls. Head coach asking if she has another timeout, and she does, so she will use it. Tigers have climbed their way back into this second set, down one. Still game point for the Cowgirls. But as mentioned, momentum is definitely in the Tigers' favor, and maybe all it takes is just putting a little pressure on that serve received for the Cowgirls 
Got them shaking in their boots because it's definitely looking in favor of the Tigers. Yeah, the Tigers, five points in a row. They need that sixth point. And uh, Harden Simmons probably hoping that for Kaizen, the adrenaline wears off a little bit. But we'll see. Burkhaisen has been serving very, very well. But which is especially weird considering the entire night prior. Yeah. We've had a bunch of service errors. So it would be it would be a bit weird if at the end we have a big point comeback <laughs> off of game point. But yeah, definitely some weird energy in regards to the serving gods for volleyball this evening. A lot of serves going out the back of the court, and Carly Brookhuis and definitely in a pressure serving situation in this very moment. Hopefully we didn't jinx her. Great job on the Tigers getting back into this second set with an unconventional look. As mentioned, Nadia Curran in on the outside. We've seen some faces that we didn't see in the first set. That ball is in, so the Tigers will get a chance here. It's going to be a free ball opportunity. Carly Brookhuisen with that first initial touch out of the middle. Brett Thorin, and she will get a kill for the Tigers. Tigers coming back from a deficit of, I believe, six points, and we are tied up at 24-24. Yeah, we'll need a couple extra points for this one. Harden Simmons definitely not expecting that outcome. And that one barely, barely, barely out. So after all of that, it'll be a surface error for Brookhuisen. But still, got six serves in. That's a very nice stint behind the line. The serve from Villanueva. Handled well by the Tigers. Kern, big swing, gets blocked. And uh, Arden Simmons holds off the Tigers to win set two, 26-24. Despite the Tigers coming back from that six point deficit when Arden Simmons was at game point, we will be playing at least four sets here in Calgary Gym. Definitely a great comeback for the Tigers despite taking the loss in that second set. Hopefully they channel that momentum that they had at the end there into this third. We'll probably see Coach Jenkins shift back to her regular starting lineup. A great battle, great defense on both sides there at the end, and great serving by Carly Brookhuis. And despite that one miss serve, she had quite the run, keeping it consistent, really getting the Tigers back into that second set. So we'll see how this third one shakes up. Both teams have a set of piece. We'll take a small break on the Tiger Network as we let them prepare for that third set.
about to come out of this one. Set three, most consequential set right now because you do not want to be playing on the back foot in set four. Looks like a more conventional lineup for the Tigers. Yep, looks like they're shifting back to their usual starting lineup. Naughty Kern back in that libero jersey. Starting middles, Maddie Fate and Brett Thorin. On the outside, Watley and Logan. And then the usual matchup of Marissa Amarino with Courtney Pope. We'll see who subs in for the 6-2 rotation. I'm assuming it's going to be Josie Dare and possibly McWilliams. <laughs> We will see, but the Tigers will have the first serve of the third set. It's going to be Marissa Amarino back to serve. We'll see if both teams can be a little bit more consistent behind this service line in this third set. And that one is in, and it will be an ace. Yeah, so first point goes to Trinity. That's a service ace off of the libero, so got to feel good when you get it off of the best defensive player. Next serve from Amarino. That one handled much better. Swing and that one overpass. It'll be a point for Harden Simmons. That was a very strong, aggressive swing from Rachel Nord. That sends it back for Harden, Sim Harden Simmons. Gabby Jones. Sophomore has had some good serves tonight. That one handled well. A quick set to Maddie Fate, who puts that one down. So Tigers up two to one with Reagan Watley going back to serve. Watley gets the go ahead. And that one a bit offline, but Aaron Simmons gets an attack off. Amarino with the bump set over to Mackenzie Logan. Cross court shot. Kareen's off of a cowgirl. Liz Underwood touched it so. Trinity up three to one now as they are looking to bounce back. Another serve from Watley. That one's in. Finally, the Tigers catch the back line on a serve. So ace for Watley. Four to one is the score early on in the third set. Next serve from Watley. Gets an overpass. Amarino to fate. That one through the hands of Villanueva. So five to one. Tigers rolling here early on. Watley gets to serve again. Another serve. That one in the net. So service ace for a service error. Ultimately be a wash. Double substitution for Harden Simmons, number eight, number 24, Rachel Nort, and Sabrina Nelson back on the court for Harden Simmons. That serve, oh, a dribbler off the net. The most frustrating thing you can see when you're on that serve-receive line is the ball off the net always makes the trajectory much more favorable for the server. It ends up as an ace. Next serve. Much more conventional. Amarino to Mackenzie Logan, a tool off the block. So Tigers up 6-3. Good aggressive swing from Mackenzie Logan there. But Thornton back on the court for the Tigers with Nadia Kern heading back to serve. Nadia Kern gets the go ahead. And tough pass there. It's gonna be a down ball. Amarino to Thornton. Good overhead receive, but no one can collect it from Harden Simmons. So mark that down as a kill for Thornton. So seven to three. Tigers up by four with Nadia Kern back to serve it again. Nice confidence on the Tigers and with the lineup that is maybe a little bit more familiar playing amongst each other again, this being their common starting lineup that last serve being out just barely by about a foot will result in a cowgirl point Tigers still leading by three we'll see if they can pull away in this third and the serve that one received by Kern the swing from Mackenzie Logan by the three meter line gets dug back row attack 
That one is handled well. Back set to Pope. And the Cowgirls get the attack off. That one off of Nadia Kern. So kill for Harden Simmons. That was a good makeshift attack on their part. Liz Underwood to serve it. Underwood serve is just long. Hope you're not tired of us saying that. But it has just applied so much. Make that 18 service errors combined for both sides. It has been, I feel like, big thing for practice until maybe, the next game's going to be serving. Maybe the AC is really blowing today or something. Maybe there's a slight breeze on the court. But, yeah, really interesting how many service errors we've seen today. Josie Dare able to get that one in and down. It's going to be an ace for the Tigers. So 9-5, to five, and the Tigers, they have been very effective. They, that's their eighth service ace behind the line. But right now, ultimately, it has just been a wash with the service errors. But still, some very good performances. That one, a no-touch service ace there. Perfect placement in that corner. So make that one a pair of pocket aces for Josie Dare as that will force a timeout from Harden Simmons. Coach Crisp wanting to talk this one over. So 10 to five. Tigers doubling up on Harden Simmons right now, but both are hitting pretty well. You see, they have more service errors than they do actual errors on attacking. Yeah, after that second set, stats more or less aligned. You're definitely seeing the Tigers starting lineup come away with the beginning of this third. A lot of confidence on that side of the net again with that lineup, which is maybe a little bit more familiar playing amongst each other. We'll see if the Tigers out of the timeout can string together some more points. Again, back-to-back -back aces. Pretty awesome stuff from Josie Dare. We'll see if she can keep this one in the lines. As we mentioned, a lot of unfortunate misserves thus far across the entire day. Something about a Wednesday match. Dare will get us out of the timeout. Ten different Tigers tonight have put a kill on the board in this match, so... Great show of their depth. The serve from Dare. Another good one. Almost expecting it to be offline. Atai was waiting there. That'll be just put down by Harden Simmons. That one, I don't even know if it was going to go over the net, but put down anyways. So 10-6. to six. Yeah, Hernandez all over that one. It was either going to fall right into her hands, right over the net, or it was going to stay on the Tiger side, and she was not going to allow for it to come over in any fashion. Josie Dare setting up McWilliams down the line. Cowgirls keeping the ball in play. Great defense by Mackenzie Logan. Connelly McWilliams unable to get that third touch over. So Harden Simmons coming out well out of the timeout. Villanueva continuing to serve. And another tough serve from Villanueva. Make that a point for Harden Simmons as I think crossing over Connolly McWilliams got a little bit in the way of the vision which caused that ace. Definitely a tricky Service, attempt, service receive attempt, excuse me. That two-man passing is going to result in Mackenzie Logan getting an off-speed shot over and down. Tigers after that last ace shifted to a two-man passing with Watley and Nadia Curran, and it worked in their favor. It's going to be Jenna Rodriguez back to serve. Rodriguez's serve. Oh, low pass. But it will be a down ball. And set her dump. Done to perfection by Josie Dare. So make that 11 Tigers with at least a kill in the match. As I believe that is the first dump attempt we've seen from either side in this match. Puts the Tigers up by four, 12 to eight.
Big arcing serve from Rodriguez. Cross court shot is out. So a 13 to eight as the Tigers up by five once again with Rodriguez still behind the service line looking to serve another tough one. Handled well and that one kept alive. They are over to Thornton who's gonna get the kill. 14 to eight now. Tigers extend their lead. 4-0 scoring run for Trinity. That one in the net, so another service error. Another one, as DJ Khaled would say. <laughs> it has definitely been another one kind of night behind the service line, unfortunately, in regards to misters. Wish we were saying another one in regards to aces. That would be way better on both sides. We'll see with this serve receive. Naughty Current with the first touch. It'll be a ball out to Watley. High swing, and the Cowgirls are unable to get that ball up and over. Maddie Fate back on the court for the Tigers. Tigers have five blocks tonight. Haven't had one in this third set so far, I believe. And uh, set her dump right back. Fair play by Harden Simmons. 15 to 10, whenever one setter gets a setter dump in. The opposing setter usually wants to get one in as well. It's a bit of payback, and Ali Meyer did it to perfection. Riley Persley enters the game and goes back to serve. Handled by Rodriguez, and setting up Maddie Fate quickly. That'll be a kill for the senior. 16 to 10 now. Maddie Fate has been really electric for the Tigers this season. As Marissa Amarino and Courtney Pope checking back in. Amarino back to serve. That one collected by Villanueva. That one hit over Amarino to Fate with the tip. And a kill for Maddie Fate. 17 to 10. The Tigers up by seven. They are dominating this third set so far. The tried and true middle tip right over the block into the middle of the court. Works almost every time for this Tigers squad, and you saw that success with Maddie Fate. Once again, we got an outside swing here, blocked. Great coverage there by the Cowgirls. Another outside attempt tipped right to Jenna Rodriguez. Courtney Pope with a cross-court swing, and she'll score. Extending the Tigers' lead now to eight. 18-10 is the Tigers lead. Timeout, Harden Simmons. You can see why being down by eight is very rough, but the Tigers are hitting 376. They are really hurting the ball. 40 kills on the match too. They yeah. are really, really electric right now. Yeah, definitely dominating. As mentioned, we got the starting, the more usual starting lineup back in this third set. Tigers often mix things up, and the Tigers did have a tremendous comeback, six-point comeback in the second, unfortunately falling with those last few points. But, man, they just look really clean out there, really few errors. The only errors we're really seeing again tonight are behind that service line, just bad serving luck in the air on both sides. But we are seeing a few more aces in this match than we did earlier, so Tigers staying aggressive. Overall, not many bad things to say for either side. It's just the Cougars really need to put a little bit more heat behind the ball, get some more balls to the floor. They want a chance at this third set. And expanding a bit, Brett Thornton with that Offensive Player of the Week. The Tigers have had a player win either Defensive Player of the Week or Offensive Player of the Week from the SEAC every week so far this season. It had been only defensive players. Brett Thornton is the first to win an offensive player of the week as Amarino gives another good serve. The attack hasn't gotten down yet. Ball hasn't hit the floor. Free ball for the Cowgirls. They'll try again. Set the middle. That one gets down. 
So Cowgirls follow up one good attack with another. It is 18 to 11. And Thornton, she had 10 kills against both Austin College and Colorado College. But in that Colorado College game, she had six blocks to contribute as well. So very good performances from her as the Tigers had to get another free ball over. Set to the outside. That one pushed too far. A bit too much sauce on that one, 18 to 12. So Martin Simmons coming out well from the timeout once again. That sends back Gabby Jones to serve it. That one handled very well. Amarino, the tip from Fate. Upper pass out. So Tigers cut off any momentum that Hurton Simmons may have been accruing there. Sends back Reagan Watley to serve for the Tigers. They are one point away from that 20 mark. Yep, and even with the missed timing, that tip out of the middle scores almost every time for the Tigers. We're going to see great hustle here. And that third ball is over. Nadia Kern with that first touch. Mackenzie Logan throwing over a ball. Great, great defense from the Cowgirls, keeping that ball in play. It's going to be a little bit of a scramble here, and the Cowgirls will receive a free ball opportunity. We'll see if they can use it out the back a little too long. But, man, was that some great hustle from them early on in the rally. Yeah, that might have been the farthest I've ever seen a third hit go here in Calgar Gym. So good hustling there. Watley with the tough serve. That one's going to be an ace for Reagan Watley. 21 to 12. That's fun. A palindrome score once again. No matter which way you say it, 12-21, 21-12. Same front and back. Another serve for Watley. Swing, big swing there. And man, Liz Underwood has been hurting the ball tonight. That'll be her 10th kill for the match. First from either team to hit double digit kills. Now Keaton Rogers will serve it up for Harden Simmons. They are down at 21 13. Handled well by Kern. Amarino setting Pope. Cross court shot gets down 22 13. Tigers leading by nine. Arden Simmons has quite the task ahead of them. This one looking a lot like that first set. Nadia Kern serves this one up. Handled by Arden Simmons. Swing from Underwood, denied. That'll be another block for the Tigers. Brett Thornton and Courtney Pope there to cut off any direction that that attack may have taken. 23-13 now, six blocks on the match for the Tigers. Next serve, another tough serve from Nadia Kern. Who collects that dig? Amarino, cross court set to Mackenzie Logan who puts it down. Game point for the Tigers. They're up 24 to 13. They are responding very well. And whenever you do drop a set, it's not that you dropped it, it's how you dropped it. And after having that six point comeback, they had the momentum heading into this third set. And another barely, barely, barely out service error. Another one. <laughs> yeah, that one being close, at least you could say it made that serve receive lineup make a choice whether or not they were gonna go for it or whether or not they were gonna take the chance as again, it was really close out. Courtney Pope with a great swing. She is dug. It's going to lead to an outside return. Mackenzie Logan right in the perfect spot to get a dig on that. Out of the back row, Watley will be blocked, so that will be a Cowgirls point. Uh, Jaden Hernandez there for the solo block out of Abilene, Texas. Another local player for Harden Simmons. And Harden Simmons needs to be perfect here. Amarino setting Thornton off the block. A kill for Brett Thornton. Deja vu as this one ends 25-15. Tigers up two sets to one. And that'll send Harden Simmons to the other side of the court playing on the back foot for set four. 
Yeah, we saw the Tigers again in set two fall, but had a tremendous comeback there at the end. Always great to see players that were not on the court in that second set come back in in the third and really just come in aggressive, swinging consistently. Very few errors on that Tiger side offensively. And we cleaned things up a little bit behind the service line, but both teams still pretty high air. So we'll see if that changes going into the fourth. Maybe it's just one of those days as we saw in the match earlier today. Interesting to see if Coach Jenkins will rely on, again, that more consistent starting lineup to finish things off potentially in the fourth, or if she'll give some players, again, a chance after the final score in the third being 25-15. Tigers staying above 300. Really tremendous for this match. Harden Simmons around the 200 mark, not bad as well, but they will need to clean things up a little bit and stay more aggressive with their swings, putting a few more to the floor if they want a chance here in the fourth. Tigers up two sets to one. We'll take a small break on the Tiger Network as we let both of these teams get ready for the fourth set. We're back here for the fourth set. Harden Simmons playing on the back foot. They need to win this set to push it to that lightning round fifth set. Both sides with, I believe, the same look. So we will get this one kicked off. The Tigers looking dominant in that third set, just like they did in the first set. Harden Simmons, they have an uphill battle for sure as to start us off, Ali Meyer will serve for Harden Simmons to get the fourth set kicked off. Yeah, Tigers starting lineup definitely looking confident and really played solid in that third set. We'll see if they can continue with that same consistency here in the fourth. High set to Watley on the outside. She'll go with that cross court shot. A nice dig from the Cowgirls. Amarino keeping that ball in play with the overpass. A tip here. Courtney Pope throwing the ball over. Cowgirls not really expecting the ball. That one falls, and that'll be the first point here in the fourth. Yeah, smart play by Pope. Throwing that one over. Bit on a prayer. Hail Mary. But that one gets answered. Serve from Watley. Good set, but the Tigers there to stop that attack. And an overpass forced by Harden Simmons. And setter dump. And the pancake dig did work, but Tigers couldn't send it back over. So 1-1 one, one as both teams trade the opening points. Riley Pursley will be sent back to serve it for the Cowgirls. Going through her service routine. 
Good pass by Kern. Going to the other side, Mackenzie Logan gets dug. Big swing there from Underwood. But they're gonna say point Harden-Simmons as we'll say a Tiger touched it off the block. 2-1, Harden-Simmons leading, although I'm not sure if the Tigers agree with that one or not. Personally, we'll get another chance behind the service line though. Rough receive there. Free ball for Harden Simmons. Set the middle. That one is out. So two to two. Brett Thornton re-enters the game for the Tigers with Nadia Kern heading back to serve. Definitely an aggressive start by both teams here in the fourth. Looking like anyone set with that 2-2 starting score. Nadia Kern with a nice float here. Keeping that ball in and outside set is blocked. Kept on the Cowgirls side and they will give a middle opportunity. That tip picked up. Running the reverse, Courtney Pope. And that connection results in a kill for the Tigers. It'll send Nadia Kern back to serve for another opportunity. Tigers up 3-2. Really wanting to pull away from the Cowgirls because that second set started pretty similarly with trading of opening points. And it was just uh, another service error. Just act like it's nothing right now. So Harden Simmons mysteriously gets the ball back. Don't know what happened there. Unfortunately, not a big surprise. And another one. <laughs> The Cowgirls will return the favor with a missed serve. So it's going to lead to the Tigers' double substitution. Josie Dayer and McCarthy coming in. It's going to be McCarthy's playing on the right side. So we saw her on the outside earlier in the second set. She is now subbing in for this 6-2 rotation. She'll be on the right side. Had some really great swings in that second set. A lot of power, a lot of aggression. So hopefully we see that from her on the right side as well, and right off the bat contributing, lining up a excellent block for her and Brett Thornton. It's gonna be a Tiger point. There. That was a very good serve. Focus, really forcing that serve received to make a decision. The next serve from Dayer coming up. High serve receive. Going to Underwood, who takes a softer approach, but Tiger's there to cover it. Swing from McCarthy gets dug. And a couple of Cowgirls running into each other. Thornton, I believe, just swung that one in the net. So mark that down as an attacking error. Number six and number 24 in for Harden Simmons, Keaton Rogers and Sabrina Nelson re-enter the game with Rogers back to serve. Tigers lead it by one, five to four, and a very good serve. Swing down the seam from Logan, gets dug. But Logan digs Underwood, big swing. Point for Trinity as Logan gets a lucky tool off the block. She hit that one with so much force that the ball that force out. Jenna Rodriguez heading back to serve for Trinity. The serve from Jenna. That'll be an ace for the Tigers. 11th service ace. We'll see what wins out in the end. Crazy ball, hopefully you're able to tell with the replay here. It just dropped suddenly right after passing that 10 foot line. Another great serve from her. It's going to lead to an outside swing out the back. Harden Simmons with a hitting error leading to the Tigers getting another opportunity behind that service line. Rodriguez. Another good serve. Point for Trinity. Call a double on Harden Simmons, so another serve for Rodriguez. Harden Simmons will call a timeout. They're down nine to four in a set that is threatening to get out of hand with Rodriguez serving heat. 
Yes. Yep, a few unforced errors on that Cowgirls and it will result in head coach calling a timeout, hoping to shift the momentum back into their hands. But man, as mentioned, Tiger side, they're looking really confident, looking really consistent. Great communication. Many times you can hear it from here when the Tigers are up and swinging aggressively. The libero, Nadia Kern, is over there yelling what's open. I've heard her yell split numerous times in regards to the block positioning. So really great stuff on that Tigers end. Hopefully out of the timeout, we see consistent serving as we've struggled with throughout the day. Hopefully we can close this one out in four. And right now, the Tigers have 12 surface aces and 12 surface errors. We'll see who wins out in the end in this battle of epic proportions. Yeah, and you can't really complain with the Tigers staying aggressive. Their, their serves, when they are in their dynamite majority of the time, and they are just pushing the limits maybe a little bit too far in regards to that aggressive serving in this match thus far. But again, I guess you can't complain if you got that many aces as well. Rodriguez, another serve. Give that one to Underwood, covered by the Tigers. Bump set, big swing, and that's going to be a kill for Lauren McCarthy. Tigers break double digits as Rodriguez will head back to serve again. Really good swing there. And Rodriguez. That one is going to be a point for the Tigers. They lead it 11 to 4. And Rodriguez gets to serve again. Oh, drops the ball a little bit. Another good serve, though, either way. And Rodriguez gets another one as Tigers lead it by eight. DJ Khaled has applied a lot here tonight. Yeah, that last serve from Jenna, you saw her bounce the ball off her foot a little bit, but the whistle had already been blown, so thus the timer starts going. You saw her quickly collect herself and get that ball in. Another great, ooh, I jinxed it. It looked like it was going to be the perfect low serve from here up in the press box, but that ball is in the net. So another service error for the day. It's going to be a cowgirls point. It's going to send Liz Underwood back to serve. The serve from Underwood. I don't know what's happening, all right? <laughs> I just look and I just call play by play. I can't explain mysterious forces like this. So I'll make that a combined 24 service errors. We nearly have a full set worth of those service errors. The tip over. So Harden Simmons will attack again. Good swing by Sullivan. It can't get through the block. And that'll be a point for Harden Simmons. As I believe that was Jaden Hernandez, number one, getting the kill there. That'll send back Ari Villanueva. The libero. She's given some very tough serves tonight. Try and give another tough one. Attack from the three-meter line. Gets Doug. Sullivan with the down ball. Doug by Kern. Swing from Watley. Overhead receive. And that back row attack denied Maddie Fate. Single-handedly shutting that one down. 14 to six is the score. Eight blocks tonight for the Tigers. They have been on point. They've been reading those attacks very well. Marissa Amarino and Courtney Pope back in the game. Amarino back to serve it. Amarino serve. Low close to the net, tip over. See what the Tigers do with this one. Swing from Pope off the block. 15 to six. Tigers up by nine. And a timeout called by Harden Simmons as Coach Crisp wants to stop the momentum. They're down by nine. And the Tigers offense has not slowed down one bit. Yeah, like we mentioned there, playing really low air in regards to their offense, staying really consistent 
And not to mention that, but their block has just had an incredible presence at the net, really forcing the Cowgirls to make shots and stay aggressive. Overall, a great, great start in the fourth for the Tigers. We'll see if this timeout results in the Cowgirls bouncing back. But if not, this is going to look like a tremendous four-set match for the Tigers. And Mackenzie Logan has herself a double-double tonight. 11 kills, 10 digs. She is doing Love very well. Love to see well. it. Very well. She can, she can attack. She's playing great defense, which, you know, at the start of the year, at the outsides, really struggling with that defensive side of the ball, but they have been constantly improving. And when you have a full team like Trinity, they are very dangerous. Amarino serve. Another good one. Bump set to Sullivan. Uh, cross court attempt is out. The junior from Plano, Texas. Can't get that one down. 16 to six, Trinity up by 10. Another freebie for the Tigers as they continue to push the pressure onto these Cowgirls. Amarino doing a great job, staying consistent. That ball also in with her serve out of the back row and another swing out. 17 to six. Make that a 4-0 scoring run for Trinity as Amarino trying to give some really good consistency behind it the service line, you know. Jinxed it. Yeah. yeah I'll, or maybe I'll, it was inevitable with the day and how it's been going with those serves. 17 <laughs> to seven. How many, sir, we have a full set worth of service aces now, 25 of them across both sides. I think the coaches are going to be working on their team serving. That might be a record. I don't know if anyone's ever kept track about how many service errors in a match. But nonetheless, that swing is in. It's going to be a cowgirl point. Yeah, really good swing from Jones right there. Because I think she did a bit of a spin around to hit that one. It was set in a tough position for her, but making the most of it. Next serve from Harden Simmons. And uh, Courtney Pope looking really cool doing that 18-8. She turned away before the ball even hit the floor. She knew. That double quick from the Tigers, something really challenging to defend. You had Maddie Fate on a back quick, Courtney Pope on a front quick, both individuals with success hitting both of those shots, so not sure where you want to jump. Outside swing from the Cowgirls is out. No touch on the ball. Another easy point for the Tigers. And, and I believe the Cowgirls have used both of their timeouts. So it'll be all up to the individuals on the court to change things up. Tigers, bit of heads up ball there. Can't get it over, it is 19 to nine. They're still leading by 10. And I'm sure Coach Jenkins, very not keen on calling a timeout. So Harden Simmons, those players have to do it on their own. Briley Persley with the next serve. So another service error. It's just, uh, it's just one of those days, you know. It's just one of those days, and it's just something that if we tell anyone after today, they won't believe that there were this many service errors. Interesting night. Nadia Kern behind the service line, just dropping it off the tape. Cowgirls are able to keep that ball in play. Bobbing and weaving. Marissa Amarino not touching that one. It's going to be another attacking air for the Cowgirls. And yeah, that was a smooth dodge by Amarino to get out of the way of that one. Nadia Kern. We'll see where this serve goes. And that one very close to the student section. Free ball for the Tigers. Big swing. And that one pushed back down. Cowgirls still haven't let it fall yet. Amarino going to Mackenzie Logan, who ends that rally there. 22 to nine. Mackenzie Logan gets another kill added to her stat sheet. Great I defense by the Cowgirls, keeping those tricky, tricky ricocheting balls in play. Some great hustle. 
Commits the play as well. Nadia Curran again with a nice float serve. Very little spin. It's going to be a right side swing. But Whiteley's right there. Nadia Curran keeping the ball in play in a free ball opportunity for the Cowgirls. How will they use it? It'll be Mackenzie Logan actually swiping that one off of the tape and out. So it'll be a Cowgirl point. Sending back for Harden Simmons, Gabby Jones. Serve from Jones in the net. So don't think we need to point out how that's another service error. We've seen that one so, so many times. So 23 to 10. I think uh, Dare will try to give a good serve here. But I don't know if either side's going to want to remember their performance behind the service line tonight. Even when you do have 12 service aces. And Kern, a bump set. Big swing from McCarthy. That one is too long. 23 to 11. It's been a lot of missed attacks at that back line as well. I feel like we've been saying a bit too long. Quite a bit. Yeah, you could hear the miss hit with that last swing from McCarthy. Just a little bit of needing to get more on top of the ball. Nice aggressive swing nonetheless. Another tool from Mackenzie Logan. She just packs the heat behind it and it ricochets fast off of that block. She'll sub out for Jenna Rodriguez going back there to serve for her. Tigers are one point away from taking the match. Unfortunate for JC Childers who came in for Harden Simmons as a serving specialist. And that one ended on a block. Tigers take set four, 25 to 11. Nine blocks on the night for the Tigers with that one. They win it three sets to one. Despite a little hiccup in set two, they looked like they absolutely dominated this one. Absolutely, they played really, really consistently, really aggressively. And honestly, the only thing that hurt them at times were those missed serves. Had they been keen on getting those serves in, I mean, the deficit or split could have been even more dramatic. A great finish by that starting lineup, R taking things back in the third and then finishing, finishing excuse me, things off in the fourth. A win is a win, and coming out three to one is definitely great success on the Wednesday evening for the Tigers. And one of the big things, Harden Simmons had 20 attacking errors, so not the cleanest of play, but the Tigers had 12 service aces and 14 service errors. Harden Simmons had two service aces compared to 13 service errors, so one of the big contributors to maybe the lopsided affair was that the Tigers could cover their mistakes a bit on the service line while the Cowgirls, they struggled to get anything in on the Tigers receive that Coach Jenkins had been raving about before these matchups. Yeah, definitely challenging to win any match when you are giving away that many free points. Free points given to both sides, but inevitably the Tigers will come out on top again if you missed the earlier match, Tigers did take that one as well. So that is two wins for the day for the Trinity Tigers. Overall, a great midweek matchup for them as they clean up the gym here in Calgard. Overall, some great volleyball. Some great volleyball indeed. Thank you for joining us on the Tiger Network. Trinity beats Harden Simmons three sets to one for the control room. And Jade Schoenberger, I am Reed Rosales. Hopefully you will join us here for volleyball on a Tuesday night where the Tigers will play Our Lady of the Lake. So once again, I am Reed Rosales for the Tiger Network. Have a good night, and hopefully we'll see you again on Tuesday.